You guys are there pala? Hi guys! Welcome to my newly renovated house. Yes, I don't know if you remember, this house is 17 years old. But now we renovated it to make it look all white. Because during the pandemic, when I couldn't go to work, we built a house down the street and then we used this as our studio. So let's change, change uh, depending on what's going on. So is my queen here? Is Corina here now? Let's see. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry. Hi. Taka mask. Meron ako dala ng anti. Okay. Anti chen. Okay. Ito yung set natin. Hello everybody. Hi. Okay. Nag anti chen na ba kayo lahat? Yeah. Okay. Ganito ayong magkasakyan. Ito ma. Ito ka ha. Yaa. Ito na yung ating mahiwagang siya. Maayos. Better. Better. Yes, better. Correct, correct. It's more comfortable. Again. <laughs> Again. But it's new. I know. New it's new renovated. New furniture. I love the all white. Oh, di ba? No. Huh? Yeah, because during COVID, I, there was no work. Oh. So I used this as my studio because I got right. into TikTok, right. podcasts, and what ginawa ko? YouTube. So this now, this is. This is the house where you really used to live for how many years? Uh, we lived here for 17 years. Wow! No, 16 pala. 16 years. Mm -hmm. So, uh -oh. syempre, magsasawa ka na nga naman. It's not that, but it became so public. Kasi I wasn't Correct. so... And this is really the house I was alone. When, uh -oh. when Crystal left and Cork left, I was alone. So, I feel this, this house is mine. When I married Hayden and Scarlett, parang walang space si Hayden. Right. I couldn't move my closet or anything to accommodate okay. his clothes. So, you know, he decided to build a house down the street. Para right. naman meron na siyang sarili niyang space. Because every day for how long were we together? Siguro mga hmm, mga four years he would go back to his apartment, get his clothes every three days. As so in. the reason why. <laughs> Nagpagawa kayo ng bagong bahay is talagang parang yun na ang inyong This is our private private oasis. Today is one of my favorite episodes because we are going to raid a closet. Not mine, but my husband's closet. Say hi, Dan. I could visit Hello, everyone. Do you believe na the more closet space you give your man, the more you love him? <laughs> no, no, man. Because I didn't give Hayden closet space, but I love him. Now. Okay. It's just that I need to know. Like now, I'm so lost. I always say I don't have clothes. Because when it's scattered, your shoes are scattered. I don't know now what to do. Again, so I'm man. still trying to figure out the way. Ikaw, marami ka bang closet space sa bahay? Wala no? forever na katapperwear ang mga gamit ko. <laughs> okay, so um, so this is now your studio, and when I look at everything, at kapag narinig ko na yung kwento mo. Uh, mula nung pagkabata mo. Mm -hmm. Parang medyo nasya-shock ako na meron palang hugot ang buhay ni, ni Vicky Bello. Of course, we've talked about this, but di ba, iba yung perspective pagka 10 years later, a Scarlet and a Hayden later, a house later. Uh -huh. From your childhood, bakit Spanish ang salita mo nung bata ka? Parents got they wanted me to learn Spanish. Gusto gusto nila na marunong ako Espanol. So they made an agreement na from the age since I was born, I only speak Spanish. Zero. Wow. English zero. Well, the Tagalog was from my helpers. Bisaya man. Okay. I'm from Cebu. I was born in Cebu, and my dad's from Capiz, right? Oh. So Marin. So right. it was only Ilonggo and Cebuano that I would hear. Okay. So when I went to Assumption for kindergarten, I couldn't speak English. So. They had a very hard time with me. So, so hanggang ngayon? So, talaga? bigla na lang, oh. from all Spanish to all English. So, oh. I forgot all my Spanish. Okay. But I can remember, you know, talagang, if you teach your children, I heard you're teaching them French. I'm trying to teach them French because <laughs> puro Ilongo, I feel marginalized. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, because everybody in our home, from the gardener to the lola, eh, lahat ni Grense. Pepe, what are we going to read now? Mama, buhat ka na. Dako-dako, gina-bot. Ang 
Tenana, ang tenana buho. Mabunggo, mas sakit din ang jomo, mabunggo ka gid. Yung mabunggo ka gid. When I get home, wala puro ilonggo na sila kailangan ko ng translator. A little. Oo, oh, jutay ma. Kumay lang, jutay. Ayun oh, mo. Oh. Ang fu. Pati. <laughs> Oo. Oh. So, tinuturoan ko sila mag-princess, Vicky. Pero yung princess nila, Ilongo. Eh, Ilonggo accent, accent pa rin. Yung kanilang jitim. <laughs> jitim, gid ka. Oo. Oh, oh. Urbwa. Urbwa. Oh, they're the cutest. I love watching them. Good vibes lang talaga. Well, Vicky is very open about the adoption thing, right? Mm, yes, I so, am. So, from your perspective now, how would you relay that story? Cuento is, I was born a cancho. I was the fifth child in a family. Uh, of, there were three girls, one boy, and then me. And the uh, Bello, my Bello mom, is a sister of my cancho mom. And they couldn't have kids. They were married for nine years with no children. My cancho mom got pregnant every 10 months, 11 months. So I always have Irish twins. Like my brother, older brother and I, for one month, are the same age. And my younger brother, si Billy, pareho rin kami age. So I think my bello mom told my kacha mom, hey, can you just give us a baby, please? Kasi mo da yata dati yun na pag babae, bibigay namin sa'yo. Pero pag lalaki, ikikip namin. O sa anong tinuro sa akin nun? Feeling ko, pag babae ka, hindi ka ganun ka precious, di ba? Importante. Of course, so I have it in my head to really always be very competitive with boys. I think part of it is trying to show off that, hey, Girls are as good as boys, and we know that, right? Correct, right? correct. So correct. that's my one thing. Right. Number two, I think also, you know, I felt very blessed to be adopted. Because in the story of my parents, Bello, I, you know, they prayed so hard, like we prayed so hard to have our children next car. Well, I prayed very hard. Now we really wanted you, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So very okay. Kaya na nung pumasok na ako sa school, medyo binubuli ako ng ibang kids, kasi my sister studied in the same school. So the whole school knew I was adopted. Then alam mo sa likod, sa likod ng ano ko, bigla na may sasabi, ampon lang yan. Oo. Oh. Oo, hindi talaga belo yan, binigay lang yan. Pero you mean, so, teka muna Vicky, so ibig mong sabihin nung, de, o oh, sabihin natin, ting pinamigay ka. Mm. Pero napunta ka naman sa maganda, hindi yes, ba? Yes, So you mean they were open to you that you were adopted? Yeah, they told me from the very beginning. Oh. But in a storytelling way, I think yung tatay ko dapat sumulat ng libro, on how to tell your child na adopted siya. Kasi he would always make it feel like it was so special. Diba? And I remember my mom telling me, alam mo, the only difference between uh, giving birth to your child and an adopted child is one goes in your stomach, the other one goes in your heart. So, gagamitin ko yun, di ba? How but nice it was always naman. something. Kaya lang in school, ginugulo ako. Corina, sinasabi nila, kaya ka naman adopted. Pinamigay ka kasi pangit ka. Ha? Ha, talaga. No. Basta yung isa naman, hindi, hindi dahil pangit siya. Kasi ang taba-taba oh. So, you've known me. I mean, we've known each other for what? Such yeah, they called time. you Miss Porky something. Yeah, Porky Pig. But you know, in a way, pumasok ako sa isang um, occupation na papagandahin ko yung mga tao at papasexyhan ko yung mga tao para hindi na sila ma-bully yes. or made to be to feel less than right. so yun ang akin kaya may hugot ang ang ano ko hindi siya you know some people think oh dami mong kinikita oh yaman yaman ni Dr. Bello parang feeling nila pera yung ano pero if you have a higher purpose and my purpose was that everybody should be loved kasi pala pag pangit ka nalaman ko, pinamimigay ka lang. So, <laughs> yun ang naging mind. So, ang feeling Pero ko, hindi papagandahin ko, ko lahat. Oo, oo. Mindset mo yun. Yes. And then, nung oo. teenager ako, ang dami kong tigyawat. Ano mo yun yung sinasabi nilang, uh, may mukha kang, ano, tigyawat na tinubuan ng mukha. mukha. Medyo ganun ang face ko. <laughs> And ang dami kong pinunta na derma, na wala talaga magawa for me. Laging every, kasi di ba, it's chronic. Every week, meron ka na namang bago. So, doon ako nag-decide na maging derma. Di ba? Kung hindi, kung maganda ang skin ko, baka iba yung, right. yung ano ko. Pero I always wanted to be a doctor. Because your, your adoptive make... father was a doctor. No, my no? dad's a lawyer. Oh, lawyer! But he was, he was from UP and he was pre-med. Oh. And then he changed to law when he got it. He won a debate in school. Yung tatay ko kasi napakagaling. Valedictorian, wow. bar top-notcher. Parang, wow. di ba? Isn't your, you have someone like, And then he's from Harvard. So talagang, but he always told me, I regret so much becoming a lawyer. So I said, I will not make the same mistake, Daddy. I will become a doctor. For I was thinking, pa pedia pedia ganon. And then because of the skin problem, mm. I decided. Dun ako nagre-research. Nakaupo ako don. Twelve years old in the 
sa clinic ng derma ko, tapos titingnan ko yung plastic flowers. Ay, nako, pag may clinic ako, fresh. <laughs> ay, mga punit-punit na magazine. Ako, pag ako ay may clinic na bagong magazines. Oh, Alam mo yun? Oh, oh. And then by appointment, kasi inis na inis ako that I had to wait for two hours, three hours every time I would go. So it was such a waste of time. You know we don't want to waste time, di ba? We, exactly. Our time is precious. You can't buy more of it. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, at least in the clinic, I will try. Na by appointment, but it is no unnecessary waiting. Let's talk about love. Ooh. Love. Pag-ibig. <laughs> Sa mata ni Dr. Vicky Bello, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you love this topic, come on! When did love start for you? I mean, look, kung ang tingin mo sa sarili mo nung bata ka ay hindi ka maganda. Mm -hmm. So paano yun during, during adolescence, nung teenager ka, syempre? In fairness, ang habang ng hair ko, marami naman nagkukort. <laughs> no, pero I personally, hindi mo nafe-feel sa loob. Mm -hmm. Pero pala, yung mga... You know, I was saying in UP, I was always so conscious of being fat. Have you ever been fat? Always. No, hello, you're so yes, thin. Yes, yes. Anyway, when you're fat, you're so obsessed with being fat. And in my mind, I was fat, but pala, I wasn't fat. Because I was 100 pounds when I was 7 years old, right? And so my dad stopped me from eating rice. Hindi na po ako nagla-rice, hindi ako nagsa soft drinks. So I don't eat rice since I was 7. Tapos, naging 108 ako. In my mind, fat pa. Kasi in your mind, fat ka. Pero pala, in reality, sexy pala ako, hindi ko alam. Oh. Anyway, at saka dami kong tigyawat. I was very aware that my hair is so sanay to be like this because I'm always hiding. Oh. Pero the guys at that time, parang they didn't naman care. At saka yung panahon na, namin, I don't know about you, Corina, but in my time, for every girl, mga five boys ang ratio. What? Oh, there's always like so many guys. Kulang ang girls. Okay. So ang dami mong suitors. So meron naman ako kasi charming ako. Ganyan, oh. nadadaan. Pero ang hindi ko alam, I was studying kasi in UP. Tapos I used to go to Broadcast City kasi I used, may secret ako. I was an Aldeguer dancer. No! Oh, so ngayon, Totoo. that's super, that's super nobody <laughs> knew. Kasi in, at that time, I was dancing for the Vilma Santo show. So I was dancing. Sa, sandali sa background, lang. Ako, background. Sandali lang. Oh. Hindi natin alam ito. Oh, oh talaga. Secret life Naging ko. Naging background dancer <laughs> ni Vilma Santos. Yung mga gumagano. Si pag may kumakanta-kanta. Pero secret life ko yun. My parents didn't know. No. Nobody knew. Kasi di ba, if you tell people, they say you're so Vicky, badoy. What paano, are you doing that? Paano ka lalabas sa TV background dancer eh, kasi, ka? Hindi ka makikita na nanay at Dahil mo. ako, walang ka-makeup-makeup makeup normally. Hindi ako nag-makeup until I got married. Kasi for my career. But before, not. And when you dance for TV, false slash is so big, oh. hair this big, I really didn't look like myself. So, I met this Atom. Na to, but this is a cute story about Atom. So, si Atom, kapatid niya ni Ronnie Hanaris, na boyfriend ni Vilma Santos noon. Kaya Pero, pala. hindi pa sila, hindi pa oh. sila mag-boyfriend. Anyway, kinakort pa ni Ronnie. Eh, si Atom yung manager. So, ngayon, I was dancing after Vilma. Bigla na lang, one day, I see Ronnie and Atom come in. Eh, hindi nila alam ni Atom, hindi pa kami mag-boyfriend. nag -ano lang, we're just dating. Pumasok siya, nandiyan yung guy na dinidate ko. Sabi niya, di ko, anong gagawin ko? Sabi niya, magtago ka muna. Sabi ko, okay, tatago ako. <laughs> so, pumunta ako doon sa dressing room, dinaanan ko si Atom. Narinig ko, she's cute, ha? So, type na niya ako, kahit nakaganoon ako. Pero hindi niya ako nakilala. So, pumunta ako sa bulawab ng banyo, umupo na lang ako doon hanggang time for me to dance. Mm. Dumating si Ronnie, knock, 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 I need the toilet. So, sabi ko, paano na lang to? Oh. Makikita, so, cover my hair, cover my face. Nag-open ako ng door, dumaan ako, oh. pagdaan ko, she's really cute, sabi ni Atom. Ikaw. Yung sumasayaw kami ni, ano, ni Jojo, yung may step palagi ang Aldegar kasi nag gumaganon. Tapos gaganon yung hair mo, oh, biglang oh, ganyan. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos sabi niya, so, nanonood siya the whole time, pinapan... Then, nung gumano na ako, sabi niya, oh, gumano na siya, nakilala ako. Oh. Oh, so after... And he's then, the only one who knew I was dancing in Aldeguer. Oh. I didn't know you. Okay. I said, please don't tell my mom. Please don't tell anybody. So, nobody ever knew. Yun. What a story. Oh, what a revelation. He finds me very cute, si Atom. Gusto niya kasi yung not normal. Correct. So, may pagkaabno. <laughs> so, nagtagal naman kayo ni... Atom. Ni Atom Hanaris. Yes, yeah. actually, we're 
We were married for 11 years. Wow. And we were dating for four, so 15 years. But now, yes. yeah, Hayden and I are 17, so. Wow, Atom and Hayden, best friends. Kinda, yeah, mm -hmm. because Atom always, you know, Hayden's very techy, so he needs help all the time with his computer stuff. Atom naman, and then Hayden naman loves paintings. It's his new uh, passion, and mm -hmm. cars. Uh -huh. So yeah, and they're always talking, Ayun. so it's cute. Mm -hmm. Nakilala ko si Vicky. Nagsisimula pala, I don't know, nagsisimula pala ang belo yata no, or something. You're celebrating your 30 what? 32nd anniversary. 32nd. 32 years and four. Congratulations, oh! Bello. So that's about the start of my career, about 32 years ago. Really? Right. Also, so, um, girl, I remember you. Ibubuko ko na to, Weather Girl. Oh, oh. Weather Girl, so show ni Merce Hanares. Oh, that's our know, background because Merce was a close friend, of course. We're sisters right. in law. And then we, I would watch her, and you were the weather girl. You're so pretty, Ay, and so. So I thought this girl should go places, because it's not bad. It's just weather, lang. and you did. Para ba kayo nagkakilala ni Hayden? We met in a beauty contest. We were both judges in UST for Mr. and Miss UST. And then when he passed by, I was, the, of course, I'm the older one, so I was the, ano yun, head chairman of the board. Dumaan siya. Sabi ko sa best friend ko, kasi dala ko si Dian. You cute, ah. Oh. <laughs> ko, ano kaya to? Kala ko naman may specialty na. Oh. Hindi pala. Intern lang. President daw siya ng inter, uh, uh, Intern Association ng Makati Medical. Oh. So sabi ko, ay, para kay Crystal. Oh. So doon nag-umpisa, may chismis kasi that he was dating Crystal. He wasn't dating Crystal first. The mother of Crystal just wanted him to date Crystal para I'll have a doctor Son in law, because I have no child na doctor. Okay. Tapos, si Crystal naman may boyfriend, and na faithful ni Crystal. Sabi niya, Mommy, he's cute, but I have a boyfriend. O, oh, di ba parang nanay niya napaka faithful. So, oh. so sabi ko, okay. So, he would come to the clinic, uh, visit me, because he wanted to be a cosmetic surgeon. So, he would come to observe, but then he'll bring me CD. Chocolate. Ako naman parang ano to. <laughs> oh. But you know, it was really one of those things. I would never. We were just friends for a long, long time, and then, and then, voila, something happens. So. <laughs> oh, oh, nga, di ba? Parang um, well, again, you know this. Alam naman ng lahat. The age gap mm. at that time was so that, that big. Was so big. Saan ang unan yung date? Ano yun? Ano yun? Hindi di ka ba nasa? Ganito ang nangyari. Actually, hindi ko. Crush ko siya talaga, pero siya with me, but I didn't understand. So we would, he'd come to the office every day, bring me a novel. Lagi yung may dalang chocolate na maliit na bar or, or flower na isa. Yung ganong type. So hindi ko alam, he was just being thoughtful, which I thought he was. Anyway, so I was thinking, he never occurred to me na may romance kasi ang laki ng gap. One time we went to Tsukiji and we ate lunch and we were, I was sitting here, normally we sit across each other. And then this time he sat beside me. So nakaupo siya doon. Then bigla na lang, may mga actions sa ilalim ng table. Yung parang ginagano ng pa ako. Tapos, and parang he was playing footsie. So ako naman tingin ng tingin kasi hindi ko alam. <laughs> Kasi he never sits beside me, he's always in front. Eh. Style so, talaga ni Hayden, ko, no? Sabi Marami ko, nang gagaya sa kanya. Ay, nako, tinitinan ko, sabi ko, kasi malaki siya eh. Uh -huh. And to this day, he tells me, he didn't really mean it daw. Uh -huh. Matangkad lang kasi siya. So, hindi, yeah, just not enough space. How many years apart? 23. 23 years, okay. Uh -huh. So, stuff Hollywood is made of. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, wala. So, bro, How did you ano, handle contract? it? I mean, eto, merong lumiligaw sa'yo na napakabatang pogi na... Single. You know, Corina, I don't know, but my life is full of like that, diba? I've never been, I'm always controversial without meaning to be. Right. So when I first came to dermatology, it was so controversial because I was doing lasers and people were saying lasers will burn your brain. I was injecting Botox, first one to bring Botox in. You are putting toxin, you will kill the people, diba? Yung mga ganun. So, nasanay na rin ako na hindi ko sila pinapakailaman kung anong iniisip nila kasi I can never please them anyway. With this naman, we really got along because I've always wanted to be with a doctor. It's nice to speak, talk about medical stuff and nobody else can talk about it. 
with me except another doctor. Plus, he was guapo. Ang sarap na when I see him, kilig pa rin ako. To this day, 17 years later, when I see him, parang, ang guapo-guapo naman dito. <laughs> so, I really, but I never thought it would be serious. But at one point, um, feeling nyo ba kailangan yung magtago o isikreto? Oh, we were really hiding and we were so happy for about a year and a half. Walang may alam. So we'd go, we'd go out naman, but I wasn't really announcing. And then my Dumawal saw us in an event. And nilagay ako sa TV Patrol mo. Ah, okay. <laughs> Dr. Vicky Bello is dating a doctor na yang, ganyan, oh, ganyan. Ah, si Mario talaga. Mario talaga. Mario talaga. So nung na-announce na, hindi tinuloy na namin kasi na-announce na. Pero actually, it was the worst thing. I mean, doon nawala si Hayden. He changed. He really changed. Bakit? Hmm. You said no the first time he asked you to marry him. No, I never said no. He was planning to propose to me in Morocco. And what he told me is he told you and he told Georgie and I don't know, Pepito Albert yata to make me a dress because he's surprised. Okay. Well, of course, he's surprised. Because I didn't know that he was like So one day I tell him, I had to give a talk in Texas on December 8th. And the thing was supposed to be December 5 to 10. He said, huh? I said, yeah, I have to give a talk to the nurses in Texas December 8th. Why? I said, if you don't have to go, I'm just telling you, you don't have to go if you don't want to. No, 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 I'll go. When we got there pala, propo siya sa Texas. So, nagiba ako ng talk, and then after that, he went to the aquarium because he wanted to see a Bengal tiger. Ako naman, how can you see a Bengal tiger in the aquarium? But there were pala talaga Bengal tigers in the aquarium. Anyway, after the Bengal tiger, we sat down, bigla na lang, Splash in the water, sa scuba, sa malaking tank ng aquarium. And then there were girls. Sabi niya, sexy ng girls. O, oh, dipi ko naman ako. Parang sexy na naman. Pagtingin ko, nakahawak ng sign. Vicky, will you marry me? I love you. Will you marry me, Hayden? Naka yung girls were holding the scuba diving tank. And then, and then when I looked at him, wala na siya dito, nandito na siya. Eh, of course, ang dami namin pinagdaanan. I didn't trust him. Parang what kind of marriage? Number one, ang laki ng gap. Number two, he's so attractive to so many people. Alam, alam niyo, when I go to the banyo for five minutes, pagbalik ko, may young girls, may older girls, <laughs> may same age girls. Ang dami oh. talaga nakikik, di ba? And then mahina pa siya sa temptation. So sabi ko, if I ever marry this guy. But it was so public and there were so many people. So he said, will you marry me? Ganyan. And I said, yes, I guess. But I said, I really just postponed it for a long time. And when it finally happened, oh my, talagang wala na yata kakabog sa wedding na yon. I mean, who gets married in that place? Palais Garnier. I know. No, I really have to give it all to Hayden because uh -oh. he planned everything. I think Hayden, the thing about him that I love is everything is special. He will never do ordinary, di ba? So even his proposal, the wedding, we wanted to get married in Paris because yun talaga ang favorite city namin. Pero Hanap kami ng hanap ng hotel, parang ang papangit, mas maganda mga hotel dito. And maliliit. Dinaanan namin yung ano, Palais Garnier. And then, I said, what's that? Can we get married there? And he said, I think that's the Opera House. So we engaged Javi. But it's a government building. And you know, the French, they don't care to make money or anything. So nobody wanted to give us permission. Pero hindi talaga tinigilan ni Hayden. It is the most beautiful I've ever seen. Extraordinary people do not lead ordinary lives. Yan lang ang masasabi ko. So, let's talk about something extraordinary that happens to a lot but not to all. You had cancer. Yes. You oh. had it. Yes. And mm. I can't imagine having it all and then suddenly being given that news. Actually, it happened. It, well, for everybody, this is the first time I'm going to discuss it. And only because I trust you. And I think it's over. But, you know, I had cancer in 2016. And I was those, diagnosed with third stage cancer of the breast. And I went to Europe and the States for treatment. So I kind of disappeared for about a year and a half to two years. In my daughter's wedding, Crystal, I was bald, completely bald. I was diagnosed, I think, January of the year. And then I went to Europe and I was told by them there that I was going to die. Don't bother to have chemo, don't bother, just fix your affairs, you're dead in two years. I went to New York, New York Presbyterian, and they wouldn't give me anything. Then, you know, I said, so what are my chances? And they were very quiet, we'll try our best. That's when I knew how much Atom still loved me. He went with us, I think that's when he and 
and Hayden got close because they were in every city scan, that scan, a you know, radiation thing. And then Crystal had her wedding on a certain date, so I had to have my chemo. My mom passed away. In the middle of having my chemo, I kept asking my mom, she was 89. I said, Mom, you have to stay with me because we're so close, like you are with your mom. I said, I need you, talaga. please don't leave me. But she was saying, I'm, I'm so tired, na iya. You know, I'm feeling sick. No, please stay with me. So I, on my second chemo, I was doing my chemo. In the middle of my chemo, they called me that my mom had collapsed and that she's in Makati. They couldn't revive her in 30 minutes. So I was there with that chemo and I said, hurry it up. Because I want to go to her and reach her and she's still warm. And then he said, if we hurry it up, you're dead because it's so toxic. And then I said, okay, then take take it off, but then you'll have to do it all over again. Yeah, I'm halfway, diba? Traumatic, but I think my mom passed away because Atom kept telling her, Vicky has to go to the States, but she won't leave because she wants to be near you. So after that, I went to the States and I did my radiation. Um, it was so funny, but actually people don't know this, but I was being interviewed by CNN. And CNN, because when they interview you, they, they warn you like five months ahead of time. So I think they talked to me November. But the interview was in April, I think, or something. I totally forgot about them because, of course, there's so much more happening. Dapat first chemo pa your hair slagas na, but it didn't fall. So I said, oh, baka naman I was injecting with mga vitamin D and things for my hair. So I thought, baka, cause, you know, maybe it's working. So when the interview happened, I had my chemo two days before. And, you know, when you do chemo, you're green. You're basically green. You look so sick. I was feeling bloated and ugly, so while I was having my interview, hair was falling on the floor. And so I would look at my people and say, am I getting bald in front of CNN? Because while they're interviewing me, the hair was falling and it was plenty clumps. And then the helpers would come and make, ano, bring it out with a walis, diba? And they said, no, you're okay pa, you're okay pa. Anyway, I couldn't concentrate on the interview because, of course, yes. ang hirap nun, diba? So they asked me a question. They said, what are your plans for the future? If you have cancer, because you don't have plans, you just want to get well, and you don't want to plan. I don't plan because I don't know if I'm going to be alive or not. And they told me I'm going to be dead. So, you know, so I'm like, I couldn't answer. I couldn't, you know, naman how I answer. I'm bilis, diba? So I looked at them and they go, do you have plans for the future? I said, do you know Hayden and I have a baby? And Scarlett was one. And they go, what? Eh, I didn't know what to say, di ba? Gusto ko yung attention mawala sa akin. I said, Scar Hayden and I have a baby. Ibaba niyo nga si Scarlett. That's why na announce. And I, because we weren't planning to say anything. I mean, if people find out, they find out. But what's this announcement? Parang, who are we? We're just doctors. Then I had to call Hayden to apologize because I didn't clear it with him. To be told, sasabihin sa iyo na wala ka ng pag-asa, hmm. mamamatay ka na, tapos yung nanay mo, 89, namatay na rin, meron kang bagong baby. Paano mo na-survive yun? Vicky, hindi namin Ay. naramdaman. Ay. Hindi, na, hindi kami mga nakapaligid sa iyo, hindi namin naramdaman yung pinagdaanan mong napakahirap na yun. Yeah. Well, talaga, alam mo kayo, I think nakikita yung mga Instagram, kakala niyo yung mga life namin perfect, or mapakasaya, nagbabiyahe, nag-shopping, whatever, Corina. You know, everybody has their challenges. Wala talagang perfect buhay. So, huwag kayo ma-depress pag nakita niyo ganun. Tapos yung life niyo, hindi pala feeling niyo, hindi ganun kaganda. Mm -hmm. Lagi niyo hanapin yung ganda sa buhay niyo. Health is so Health important. is wealth. So now, that's really my thing. Health, mm -hmm. like you and I, when you get older, Ano na yon, di ba? Slow down a bit. I'm already older. <laughs> you look so younger. <laughs> Thanks to Bello. Oh. I'm blown away by what you went through. Uh, oh. So, anong secret? That you still look this fabulous? Oh. You are well? So, paano? Ano ang I prayers, of course, Prayers, of course. Family, but, love, support, yes. right? And oh. you know, the number one secret is Scarlett. Scarlett, they're all near you. Why don't you say hi? Because I really look at her and I want to be with her. I don't want to leave her naman so young, yeah. di ba? So I kept praying, Lord, please give me time. Oh, oh. So, so yun. Iyak na rin ako kasi 
ganun din yung mga anak ko, ang liliit pa. Kaya mm. all I can think of is how to live to be 120 years old. Oh, kaya natin yan. <laughs> kaya natin yan. <laughs> Sabi nga ng patients ko, ikaw talaga, nung bata ka, wala kang pakailam oh. about all these aging things kasi hindi mo pa dinaanan. But now that you're older, I know this is a lot of anti-wrinkling, how to keep your hair black. Right, 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 right. So right. ganun, may keep it thick, di ba? So that right. kind of thing. Kawaan mo si Scarlett kung minsan na-prepressure siya kasi six months pa lang, dinala ko na siya sa Maldives, Japan, Paris. Kasi in my mind, I want to be with her. When she does it, she's only six months, how can she? So ngayon, super enjoy ako. Plus, he's seven years old. It's a really good age. It's such a privilege and an honor to be trusted with that story, Vicky. Yeah. So thank you for sharing. And believe me, in this moment, you have inspired so many. Oh. I think it's important you tell that part of your life nice. story. And since we're uh, talking about um, how extraordinary the life of this unordinary person is, O, pag-usapan naman natin si Scarlett at yung dalawa niyang anak. Tissue. Quark and Crystal. Tissue, please. Tissue break. Tissue break. Pressure talaga ang magkaroon ng batang anak. Pareho tayo, Vicky. I know, right? I have to live to be 120. Sabay tayo dyan. O, sabi ni David Sinclair, humans should live till 150. O, see? Kaya na, we will break that. Ano? We will break that. Aabutin natin. Aabutin natin yung finish line na yan. So, you mentioned about being a mom to Scarlett, and let's first talk about Crystal and Quark. Oh, proud ma mama ka, proud mama. Super, grabe my kids. My so son is living now in Singapore. Is he? No he's wonder I'm not he's seeing him. He's working with Amazon Prime as wow. the head of Philippine content. Oh, diba? Wow. I mean, I'm so happy that he found a way to make his passion, which is telling stories, me and director come true. Wow. My daughter naman is coming home next month. I'm so excited from Adelaide. Yes. With my two chiquitings, I have wow. Hunter who's four, oh. my grandchildren and Sienna was only two, and she left. She was only three months. You're the hottest Lola ever. Oh, diba? Trying. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. hope, but you know, I'm so excited talaga. Kasi right. I've been looking forward to being a Lola for so long, and then these kids, I only have two days left. Oh. Buti na lang, I have Scarlett. Kasi kahit pa paano, meron pa rin bata sa bahay. <laughs> ano pinaka-importante sa palagay mo na dapat mong iwan kay Scarlett? For Scarlett, I just really want, alam mo, nung bata pa si Scarlett. I know she was destined to be a leader. Because one year old, palang influential. It's not like other kids of other stars and naging sikat yung mga bata because the parents are stars. In our case, si Scarlett nakatulong sa akin. Yung followers ko umakyat dahil anak ko siya, di ba? And she's talaga naging star and very smart. So we just need to make her heart good. Long way to go, but as you said, the values are inculcated at this yes. age. Alam mo yan, Corina. So, oh, oh, di ba? Oh, oh. Maintain na lang. Oh, si Scarlett ba magmamana ng belo? Oh, cute niya. Ayaw na ayaw niya maging doktor. Sabi niya before. Gusto oh. niya maging vet kasi she loves animals. She loves you because she loves dogs. Oh. And, pero lately, she's, ano, she, I heard her the other day. She's so cute. She said, somebody asked her again, are you going to be a doctor? She goes, you know, I really don't think I wanted to be a doctor. But who will lead Bello if I don't become a doctor? If you see the 32nd anniversary party of Bello, nandun silang lahat. Ganda ni Anne Curtis. Ano ba ginagawa ni Anne? Maganda na siya. Facial, facial lang naman. You know, one thing about Anne, she never touches really anything. Uh -oh. She works hard. Yung uh -oh. katawan niya ngayon, mas sexy kasi before she gave birth. So she does soft wave oh, oh. and she does the Renova for her facials. Um, Derek naman, what does he do? Yeah, facial, you know, I think maintenance is the key. You don't want to have to do the big facelift right. at some point in time if you just keep doing the little things. Yes, yes, so yes. it's so nice to be actually Bello because I see stars. You know, I have Albert Martinez, Christopher De Leon, Richard Gomez from 
32 years ago. Right. And then I have the young baguettes now, like Francine Diaz. And yeah, so we have, have Andrea, Andrea Brillantes for the young people. Yes. I know, and they're in there from different stations. Oh, oh, diba? oh, oh. So I can babies? put all the people. And then Corina, you are there. Ah. You are really one of my ako yeah, sa I'm lahat. so proud of you, the way you've kept yourself. I mean, you do a little with Bella, but a lot of it is really well, you're just maintaining and taking sabi care of Mukha kang bata. Sabi ko, thank you, Bello. <laughs> <laughs> Only Bello touches. Oh, <laughs> diba? So, well, congratulations on 32 years. I mean, wow, I what a bash. I I'd be here, diba, 32 years. But I'm still excited. I still feel young. Okay, what's the secret? Siyempre, tatanungin Passion, ko yun. Passion, excitement. Oh. And all the machines and treatments of Bello, you know, now it's going back the other direction. Hindi, lasers are still in, but now it's a lot of uh, European treatments right. that are all uh, skin quality, mas maganda ang balat, oh, oh. Oh, oh. how to lose weight without surgery, mga ganon. So, pinag-aaralan ko talaga yon, kasi I'll do it for me. I know. But, you know, kay Vicky Bello, uh, talagang, you're, parang renaissance woman, right? Like, you have so many passions. Yes. You have many passions. I, tal we are witness to your passion for life in general. I mean, come on. We're TikTok. so blessed to be here. Yes. Ano yung, TikTok. Eh, hindi, uh, hindi, ikinahihiya ako ng iba. Pero ako, hindi, hindi. na-enjoy ako doon. Alam mo, <laughs> ang, ang, alam mo sinasabi nila lahat? Mm. Well, wala kayong pakialam because she makes her own money the honest way. <laughs> and she looks good at her age. Uh -huh. So if you don't want to watch, then don't watch. I oh, guess thank what? Thank you. Million-million oh. ang sumusunod pa rin sa TikTok niya. O anong magagawa Shout out niyo. to TikTok and Instagram. TikTok is fascinating. Mabilis kasi lang course, eh. Diba? Uh, and Mabilis it keeps me, lang. alam mo, yung mga beauty queens, kasi nag-judge ako ngayon ng mga maraming contests palagi. And all the time, yung mga beauty queens, sabi, Doktor, mag-tiktok tayo. They know me because of tiktok. Right, right. I came from New York. Even on the street, I was walking with a mask, ha? Right. Young people, Dr. Abelo, TikTok! YouTube! <laughs> I call that relevance. Correct. <laughs> Without meaning to, actually. But you know, I find TikTok really, you can educate people in a fun way. So right. that's what I try to do with skincare. That's great. And talking about passion, marami pa kayong malalaman about what is the most meaningful to Vicky Bello. <laughs> Dami, para kang ano, sibuyas. Ang dami mong layers. O, oh, nakakahiya. <laughs> ah, nakakaiya. And so, we are now in the room of memories. <laughs> Parang museum naman Para Parang museum, grabe. <laughs> Hindi. Pero, alam nyo, yung mga lumang bagay na tinatago natin, yun yung mga bagay talaga ng kwento ng ating buhay, right? Exactly. Oo. The Lalo na when you've lived a long time. <laughs> we've lived as long as we have. <laughs> Ang dami naming memorabilia, pero may mga bagay talaga na malapit sa puso. So, okay. Let's first talk about this. Oh my gosh! Ayan, yan ang wedding gown ko. Parang naaalala ko ito. Five oh, years ayan. ago, di ba? Was it only five years ago? Yeah, it's our paper anniversary last September 2. Wow! So, my dream was to have a dress by Michael Cinco. Ito naman yung aking pinakabagong gown. <laughs> oh, ito, ito naman yung pinakabago naman, sa lahat ng bago. Ito naman. Actually, this means more to me than my wedding gown. To be fair. Okay. So, so I'm natin. an only child, basically. Kasi yung parents ko na belo, ako lang yung po yung anak. Um, actually, may deal sila sa parents ko na kansyo na just in case they had kids in their life, they had to return me. Huh? Yeah, so my dad was saying, ay nako, so much stress. So they adopted me legally para hindi na ako pwedeng ibalik-balik. But okay. this is my mom's favorite duster. She was always playing, but you know my mom since I was a kid. Take muna, Vicky, kwento mo na dala -dala mo parati. No, so it's always in my car. Because when I'm in my car, I miss them so much. So I hardly ever wash it. Siguro once a year para lang meron pa rin. And of course, my dad is also so important. Kaya ito naman yung kanyang barong. And they were asking me for scarlets. Favorite, ano, first designer. Alam mo, I really like to dress up scarlet kasi parang dal siya. Oh, oh, ang ganda but ito. this dress, it, we don't have her dress anymore because we keep giving it away. Akin naman yan, girl. But ah, okay. the reason it's hanging in my closet, but she's so cute, even at two years old. Lagi niyang hinahanap tung dress na to, kasi meron yeah, because daw. Because my cartoons. Meron daddy, oh, oh. mommy, at saka si Scarlett. Yes. So every time she enters the dressing room, mommy, she'll go around, parang hide and seek, looking for this dress. So I make it lipat lipat, para that's her fun. She can look for it. Oh so whenever God. I this dress I will keep because ang hili ko pa magbigay ng clothes and mm -hmm. shoes because I feel it will leave space for new ones and at least other people can enjoy it. But I'm very careful who to give it to because 
It has to be a good person because I believe in energy. Baka yung buenas ko pumunta sa iba. Correct. From what you've said, ah, it's all about family. Relationship, family, Relationships, family. But of course, there has to be something important in my room. And this is my new found thing. Do you want to see it? Let's go over <laughs> there. Oh, okay. ano? Okay, so ito ay mukhang pupunta ka sa ibang planeta. Yan! Mm -hmm. O, di ba? Light! Time travel pod. Yes. Parang pupunta ako sa ibang siglo. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede ka oh. mong sumakay dito ko. O, oh, ayan. Well, this one is full of LED lights. And the reason I got a bed, nako, it's too bright, is because, um, you know, you don't, when you get older, like me, it's not just your face that gets old. Okay. Also, your body gets old. Your skin oh, wow. gets old. Okay. So, I lie down here in my underwear, and then I let the light go and stimulate all my fibroblastomic collagen. Without having to be under the actual sun. No, the sun is bad. UVA, oh, oh. UVB. Ito, red light. Parang gusto ko magpa-experiment. O oh, sige, maghubad ka na, Rukulina, to humiga ka na dito. Umalis na po kayo na. Okay, so let's open. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going in. First of all, we'd like to thank you, Vicky, because you let us into the innermost sanctums of your heart, hindi lang bahay mo. And ang dami nating nalaman about Vicky Bello. And um, it's really, really precious. We'd like to thank you oh, for that, okay? I trust only you with that story. Yes. I can't believe as she said it. I never have, so. Yes, yes. I'm ready. Bye. Try to sleep. Okay. And just know you're getting younger with every minute. Okay. Ready, Kana? Bye.